Invoicing in Xero is quick, simple, and intuitive. If you're currently raising invoices manually, perhaps in Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel, for example, then Xero's invoicing is going to save you heaps of time. Furthermore, chasing overdue payments will become a thing of the past if you take advantage of Xero's automated invoice reminders. Why not let Xero do the chasing for you? Let's get started. From the dashboard, select Business and then Sales Overview. As the name indicates, this page provides a fantastic overview of your sales. At a quick glance, you can see a total for your invoices in draft, invoices awaiting approval, invoices awaiting payment, and those that are overdue. Likewise with quotes. You'll also see a visual representation of when you can expect money to come in, and this will be based on the due date of your invoices. You'll also see a list of the five customers who owe you the most money. From this page, click plus new to raise a new invoice. Xero has recently released a new version of invoicing. I've been taken to our older classic invoicing screen, but I'm going to switch to new invoicing. If you do see the same screen as me, simply click the link that says switch to new invoicing at the bottom of the page, and that way you'll be able to follow along. For starters, enter your customer's name. You can select from your existing list of contacts, or you can enter a new contact on the fly. The reference is optional. As you can see, the invoice number has auto-populated for us. Xero automatically assigns the first invoice you raise to invoice number one, and then it ascends it thereafter. If you've been invoicing elsewhere prior to using Xero, then you can elect to start at whatever number you wish. For example, if you are up to invoice number 177 prior to using Xero, you'd ideally like to start with invoice 178 in Xero. This is managed from the invoice settings section. In regards to the due date, if your payment terms are always the same, I would suggest entering a default due date. That way, it will autofill with the default every time you raise an invoice, saving you time on data entry and making sure you have consistency across all of your invoices. Just like the invoice number, this is also managed from the invoice settings section of Xero. In this instance though, no default has been set up, so I'll take advantage of one of the handy options available in the drop down menu, so that it's going to be due in seven days. Here, you can select which currency you'd like your invoice to be in. By default, it will first show the organization's local currency. Multi-currency is only available for those that are on Xero's premium business edition plan, and also the free trial. Here, you also have the ability to add new currencies directly from the invoicing screen. Simply search for the currency, such as Canadian dollars, and then select. When you want to switch back, simply choose the original currency. With regards to this field that reads wholesale, Xero allows you to set up different invoice templates. Let's say you have two different customer segments, wholesale and retail and you might like the invoice they each receive to appear different. In that scenario, you'd set up two different invoice templates, also known as branding themes. Again, these are set up in the Invoice Settings section of Xero. When raising an invoice, you simply need to select which branding theme you'd like to use from that drop-down menu. In this case, we'll stick with Wholesale. The Item field is where you select a product or service from your list of saved products and services. Saving the products or services you commonly buy or sell means that you don't have to key in all the details every time. As you can see, when you select an item, all the details will autofill for you. You simply need to update the quantity if required. If you are not invoicing for an item from your list of saved products and services, simply key in the details yourself. Under the item field, enter a description, quantity, and price. Below the description, select the relevant account. This is likely to be a revenue account such as sales. The tax rate next to it will autofill and this will be based on how the account was set up. If your unit price is the tax inclusive figure, leave subtotal including tax selected. If your unit price is the tax exclusive price, click the drop down arrow next to it and select excluding. It will then read subtotal excluding tax. You can also click what we call the overflow menu for some more options such as the ability to add a discount or delete the line. One feature of new invoicing is the ability to select which information you're required to complete when raising a new invoice. For example, if you don't use the reference field, 
untick it so that it no longer appears on the invoice entry screen. This doesn't affect what your customer sees. What your customer sees is determined by your branding theme. Before completing the invoice, you can click Preview to see what the online invoice looks like from your desktop computer and also from a mobile phone. We're now ready to complete the invoice. I have the authority to approve invoices as I have the appropriate user role. Clicking either Send, Get Link, Print, or Mark is Done also means that you're automatically approving the invoice in the background. Another feature available exclusively on new invoicing is the ability to generate an invoice link. If you click Get Link, you'll see a unique link is generated for you, which you can then copy by clicking the Copy button. Anyone you share this link with will be able to view that online invoice. In this scenario though, we're simply going to email the invoice to the customer. From this screen, click the overflow menu and select send. If you're keeping your contacts up to date, your customer's email address should autofill in the to field. Hit send and you're away. Once you've started entering invoices, be sure to enable invoice reminders so that way Xero does the chasing for you. To do this, click on business, invoices, and then find the invoice reminders link. From here, simply tick the link to enable invoice reminders. As you can see, the default is to automatically email a customer for an unpaid invoice when it is overdue by seven days, 14 days, and 21 days. But you can choose to modify these to suit your needs if you wish, either by editing an existing reminder or by adding a new one. If you want to send a reminder before the invoice becomes due, simply add a new reminder and change the overdue option to due in. Once done, click Save. This feature is not only going to save you a lot of time, but you're likely to get paid faster too, thereby improving the health of your cash flow. If you'd like to learn more about invoicing in Xero, click the question mark icon at the top and select the link to access our supercharged help center, Xero Central. Mm -hmm.